This is Hey Hearts 143 with Natalie Tavidian. 143 means I love you. Together we're learning to love ourselves and stay in love no matter what life throws at us. We are constantly evolving, changing, growing emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And we have to remember to check in with our own heart as we're propelled forward. When you love your own heart, you heal better, you do better, and you live a more fulfilled life. Welcome to Hey Hearts 143 and happy start of September. In this episode, I'm going to start with your September to-do list. I loved doing the to-do list last month. I got so many photos um, and messages from people about trying out some of these items on the to-do list and a favorite seemed to be the handwritten letters and I even received one so that was really super sweet. Um, I don't have too many for September but a huge theme that's been popping up for me is to be playful. I remember saying I wish I could be playful again. I wish I could be more playful. So um, the first thing on your September to-do list is to be playful. Some thoughts that I have is just get out and have a bonfire with some friends, do something fun, do an activity, have a game night with um, with friends and family. Um, the next thing I have is invest in a good pillow and bed sheets. This is something we don't think about much, but we spend a lot of time resting in our bed. So why not treat yourself to a new good pillow and some bed sheets? Start a gratitude journal. This is a great way to start your day um, or even end your day with writing one or two, three things that you're grateful for. Maybe something that happened that day or just something going on in your life that you're grateful for. There's something very powerful about starting out being grateful in life. And then the final thing is not really a to-do, but maybe some um, to bring in is hang out with people who energize you. Stop, pause, and take a look at the people in your life and what kind of energy they bring you and try to focus on hanging out with the ones who energize you, to who make you happy. So that's about one, two, three, four items for your September to-do list. Give it a try. I'm going to post this on the Hey Heart 143 Instagram page and I'll also have it on the blog for heyheart143.com. And I'm going to dive right in to the next part of my healer appreciation, healer initiation, which is fire initiation, my healer training. So I'm going to read a little bit here from my Awareness Center Wahe Guru's healer training booklet and um, fire. So here's what fire is all about. The element of fire represents transformative energy in one of its most powerful forms. This is passion, it's romance, it's sexual energy, intense emotions like anger, inspiration, and vitality. It cleanses and purifies by burning away the old, outmolded feelings and thought forms, which is insane because of all the... I was asked to pay attention um, to flying objects and different types of birds and a lot of the symbols that have been popping up in my face have everything to do with this outmoded feelings and thought forms with burning away these old ways. I can't wait to share all that with you later on in this episode. Um, Continuing on, fire manifests as the strong energy of heat that comes through healing practitioners' hands. In ritualized healings, fire is represented Through a number of different ways, lighting candles, burning objects or papers with intention, relationship and love work, and intentional cooking and baking. Fire is an element of change and can therefore be quite powerful to work with. Use fire with caution and um, this is just incredible how much all these symbols are coming together for me. So this past weekend, well... Last episode, I took last week off, the one before, I spoke about the rage ground and that 
room where I was in there just releasing all this anger is a huge part of this fire initiation. Um, and another giant part of it was this last weekend. Um, and this is why I took the week off is because I needed to recoup. I went to Austin. This was just a really random trip. I'm from Southern California. I don't have any reason to have gone to Austin, but I want to start exploring. I, I leave the country a lot, but I haven't explored the United States as much as I want to. So now that I'm out of this structured news world, I really want to start exploring more cities within the US and Austin just happened to be one that I chose with a girlfriend and we happened to go there last weekend just a three-day four-day getaway and it was magical and definitely a giant part of fire initiation and it's really crazy because you don't pay attention to it and I just opened my notebook that has all these details about what fire initiation is all about and almost every aspect of fire initiation was a part of my Austin weekend. So Austin's official motto is actually the live music capital of the world. So way to be playful, right? To go out there and just listen to live music and go to happy hour and um, be playful, have fun. We started off the trip with um, exploring South Congress and having delicious food. And I found the I Love You So Much mural in Austin. I'll post a photo of that. I thought that was so sweet to um, connect back to Hey Heart 143. 143 means I love you. So I definitely took a photo there. And I'll post that on the website. Uh, our second day, we were so exhausted. We slept in and I went kayaking. Um, as you remember, in my first episode, I was kayaking in the ocean, and that was a very windy day, which was a big part of my air initiation. And this was a really hot day. So I went kayaking in Ladybird Lake, and that's where I saw another giant I love you tagged. These words were tagged on top of a bridge, and right next to it, it said, never give up. We then enjoyed some more live music and um, played pool, pool, and I hadn't been this person in so long. I just wanted to dance the entire night. I didn't want to stop dancing, and that's such a big part of who I am deep down to my core. I love dancing. I teach Zumba for fun. I've been teaching it since college. But aside from that, I just, I love dancing. When I lived out in Pismo, I'd go to salsa classes all the time. I'm horrible at it, but I love line dancing. I could sit there and watch it for hours and attempt to do it. So that second, I think it was the second night, the second night there, I just did not want to stop dancing. It was, it was like the old Natalie was back, was, was slowly coming back. The parts of me that I unintentionally had lost or released, um, so that's actually a part of fire initiation as well is right here in the home play um it says to keep a journal and examine romantic relationships marriage and divorce sexual experiences that had an impact on you your relationship with your own sex sexuality pivotal moments decisions in relationships and these are all definitely things that I've been journaling about and thinking about. But in the home play, it says to do activities that you're passionate about and dance and sweat and get really hot and really steamy. And intentionally for the second round of this healer training, that's exactly what I was doing is, is having fun and doing things that I am passionate about. So after this night of dancing, um, one of the coolest things, which I had never done being born and raised in Southern California, was just float at the river. So we went to the San Marcos River where we were sipping wine on our floaties and just floating for three straight hours. It was magical. I fell asleep at one point. Um, it was really relaxing. Um, 
And then at night, we went to what's called a bat festival. And here is where I start paying attention to these flying signs, these bird signs. So if you didn't know, and I didn't know until I went on this trip, the city of Austin has 1.5 million bats migrating each year. They've built their home under the Congress Avenue Bridge. And what was really cool was that second day when I was kayaking, we went underneath that bridge and obviously didn't see any bats because they come out at night, but you could hear them. And it was so majestic to like be under the bridge and it suddenly gets really quiet and you can just hear all these bats. So they've built this home under the bridge and this happens to be the largest urban bat colony in North America. Um, and it's really cool to watch them spiral into the summer sky like a whirlpool, like just watching them fly together after sunset was a really, I can't even, I can't, I tried to take a photo and, and, and can't even put it into words. It was majestic to see it in person. Um, definitely an unusual tourist attraction that I wasn't really expecting. Um, but it's so in line with my summer and my year. And I started doing some research when I got back on the bat spirit animal or what some call animal medicine. And here's what came up in my research. It says that it's time to prepare for major life changes. Bats can help you if you're feel fearful of transition. Here's that transition theme popping up again. And bats really are misunderstood because a lot of people associate them with the underworld and death because they only come out at night. But they're actually really sweet and cuddly animals. And that's just a lesson there to not judge a book by the cover. In Celtic shamanism, the bat is a symbol of rebirth again, that transformation. And in China, it represents good fortune and longevity. I'll take it. Um, so this really segues into my final day in Austin, where we checked out the countryside and took a tour of the LBJ Ranch and President Lyndon B. Johnson's boyhood home, made a sp stop at a local farmer's market in Johnson City. While I was at this far farmer's market, I was walking around, looking at jewelry, looking at all the cool knickknacks that they had, and I just walked right past this owl and kind of did one of those double takes and started backing up, backing up, and I looked at it, and she was majestic. And get this, her name was Phoenix. So I met Phoenix the owl. I thought she was fake. I really had to do this double take. And I'm going to post a video of my, um, my interactions with her. It was just magnificent. I'll have that on the blog on heyheart143.com. Um, so Phoenix is part of this educational nonprofit where they, take, where they teach young kids about conservation and they care for birds. They rehab rehabilitate birds. Um, the nonprofit is called Flying for Earth. I got to know um, the woman who started it, and I've actually, by chance, um, it's really cool that I ended up meeting a, an owner of a nonprofit because I've been looking for uh, an organization to donate proceeds of my sales of Hey Heart 143 Jewelry to a nonprofit. So once I launch the Hey Heart 143 Jewelry line, I'm going to donate a percentage of the first 100 items sold to Flying for Earth. So I'm excited to have met them in person. And I was looking for some sort of a, um, a nature conservation nonprofit. So now on to the owl symbolism. This is again connected to this theme of transition. And if you follow Hey Heart 143 on Instagram, I had posted the photo of the owl and I wrote that I regularly pull the collie card known for death and rebirth. And then I came across this beauty at a farmer's market in Johnson City, Texas. The owl spirit animal represents a deep connection that you share with wisdom, good judgment, and knowledge. And like the owl, which is known for its sharp vision and keen observation, 
you also possess insight and intuition, meaning that the owl has something to do with change and transition. So they're known for change and transition. And they're also known for intuition and the ability to see what others do not see. When you come across an owl, when you see the owl, it, it represents change. It announces change. And this capacity to be wise and see beyond deceit and people's masks, it speaks so loudly to me. And again, it has this death and rebirth theme to it. It's symbolic life transition and change. So that was my trip to Austin. And it was really cool to be able to connect my fire initiation and all those symbols with my trip to Austin. And it was really hot compared to Southern California. Austin was really, really hot. So they're hot and fiery. I'm going to continue with to work with fire with the healing initiation crew. I'm actually going to a bonfire tonight. So happy Labor Day to everybody. I hope you had a beautiful day and a short week ahead. Hope you try some of the items on your to-do list. Reach out to me on Instagram or email me. Um, you can find me through heyheart143.com. Hey Hearts 143 Instagram page, Facebook page, Twitter page. Um, and please, please, if you have the time, head over to iTunes and write a review. The more people who write a review, the more people can find the podcast. And keep a lookout on Instagram for the 143 jewelry line. It's still in the works, but I cannot wait to launch it. Remember, 143 means I love you. Tell your own heart. I love you. Have a wonderful week.